Marta, a 16-year-old Spanish student, has had diabetes since she was 14. The key to her treatment is continuous monitoring of her glucose levels to adjust her diet and medication. Until six months ago, Marta did her own blood tests, wrote down the results, and took them to her appointment at the hospital. Now, a little technological revolution has changed her life. Este sistema funciona de la misma forma que los demás aparatos de this system works the same way as all the devices, only when you have eight results, you upload them to your mobile phone using the infrared port and the phone stores them and sends a message directly to my diabetes educator's computer. At the other end of this operation is diabetes educator Pilar da Pena. Twice weekly, Pilar receives and analyzes the data sent to her computer by Marta and the other patients. I sent her a message telling her what adjustments to make or, if necessary, to come to the office to review other guidelines or talk to the doctor. To see the full potential of the cellular phone in the practice of medicine, we paid a visit to Torre Vieja Hospital in Spain. Using the Florence system, doctors receive office calls, test results, and specific information on their cases. Patients get waiting times in the emergency room, appointment reminders, adjustments to their treatment, and health alerts. The administration monitors everything going on in the hospital 24 hours a day in order to be able to take immediate action. The hospital's minor emergency rate of 19 percent has been cut to 2.5 percent. In two years, this efficiency has saved the hospital many millions of euros and has built an excellent reputation among patients. More than anything, it has allowed us to provide customer satisfaction. In our four quality surveys, we have scored nine out of ten. In Latin America, where 355 million people have cell phones and healthcare tends to be inadequate, the investment in mobile health, or mHealth, promises to expand and improve the quality of service. We have to make the imperative uh, for innovation in the region. And, uh, mHealth is part of the imperative of innovation that we need to make. Some of the areas that are already being tested or piloted in Latin America include, for example, in Nicaragua, where the MIT is working on a pilot experience to collect information using mobile telephony. Mobile health in five to ten years um, will be a part of people's everyday lives. So the fact that your physician can send you a text message to remind you that you have an appointment on Thursday is actually saving the health sector millions of dollars. Spain's experience, where patients like Marta have gained convenience, safety, and speed in their treatment, represents an ambitious benchmark for the region and proves that mobile health has arrived to enhance the system's efficiency, savings, and coverage.